So bricks on the Chardonnay, 24 pH 3.6. So we got a little bit of acid issue here. Riesling, 24 bricks and uh, 3.5 pH, not terrible, not good. And the winner, Sauvignon Blanc, 26 bricks, 4.1 pH. That's, that's a challenged wine, to say the least. Not a bad wine. It just doesn't fall quite into the, uh, into the realm that we would like. Ideally, with a white, you want to be around 24 bricks and a pH of around 3.233. This, uh, this is a little hot for a Sauvignon Blanc. It's not unusual, but a little hot. 26 bricks, a little bit more than you'd like on a Sauvignon Blanc. But the, the issue really is the 4.1 pH. That, uh, that is not nearly enough acid in a, in a good, crisp white wine. So we're going to do some acid addition to the uh, Sauvignon Blanc, to all of them as a matter of fact. But the problem is when you add acid, it's not quite a linear equation. So I could add exactly the same amount of acid to each one of these, and the pH level is going to be different in all three. So we'll do the best we can. I'm not going to get into the technicalities of pH right now. But just know on a... On my taste, I'm not saying on an ideal scale or, or whatever. For my taste, I like my wines a little more acidic, a little more food friendly. And uh, three five, three four, three five is pretty decent for a red. Um, I like it just a pinch more acidic though. So we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of a acid addition to everything tomorrow. And uh, in particular, the Sauvignon Blanc, which even if we get it down to a 3-3, three, three, I would be shocked. I don't think we're going to get it close. I think we're probably going to be more like 3-5, which is going to make a fine wine, but you're not going to win any medals for it, that's for sure. It'll be a good drinker. Could be a could be a fantastic wine, but it doesn't fall into that ideal zone for winemakers and sometimes here's the difference some winemakers are very you know by the book everything has to hit the right number and their wine tastes like shit and that's just simply because these guys are hitting numbers hitting targets and uh, that doesn't really do anything for you so taste it smell it look at it those are your sensory perception of the wine is so much more important than what the numbers say so that's why i'm saying even if this wine is a 4-1 right now 26 bricks i'll add a little acid to it but at the end of the day still gonna drink it still gonna enjoy it whether it falls into the uh, ideal zone or not another thing i want to point out when i first opened these up you could see they were pretty brown i added the sulfite and uh and mixed it and the minute i mixed it you could see all the green nice grapes pop back up from the bottom so it really started to oxygenate the top without the sulfite which is not a problem i want to re-emphasize it is not a problem white wine has this crazy amazing ability it can be completely brown when you uh crush it and after it ferments it's just a beautiful golden color so those compounds typically will fall out during fermentation. So if you see browning, like even some of these grapes and whatnot, not a concern whatsoever. Tomorrow morning when I open up this bin, you'll see it again. It's going to be brown across the top again. Probably less so than it was today because now we've added the sulfite. But not an issue with white wine. It's just uh, once it's fermented, oxygenation then becomes the real problem. Pre-fermentation, not such a hot button issue. So, all right, guys, tomorrow, more pH testing, some acid adjustments, and uh, we pitch yeast, and then the fermentation will begin. Typically with my white, uh, it's about a week and a half to three weeks, depending on the temperature. It's pretty warm, so I don't know. It's probably going to be a little while, or not too long on the whites. Reds, we're looking at two to three weeks, and I like to mallow with the skins on. 
I'll explain what malolactic fermentation is a little bit later. But we're going to do the primary fermentation, the sugar fermentation first. About 10 days later, we're going to pitch the malolactic bacteria. That's another five days, and then we'll press it off. So we're looking at, again, temperature-wise, anywhere between two to three weeks to get this thing done. All right, guys. See you tomorrow.